You can catch all the games of the Argentine Open and the Triple Crown of Polo at www.live.aapolo.com. You're watching Kirk's Polo Report. And today we have the final of the Hurlingham Open for 2023. Featuring La Dolphina Sadi versus La Hache. This will be an eight checker match played at the Hurlingham Club. First, a tribute to Juan Carlos Harriet. Another important thing to mention is that uh, this game will be played up to eight jackers. This is an eight jacker contest, the first of the year, and now the game is on here in Hurlingham. Uh, Porto, Porto Cambiaso picking the ball, the first one of these final chase there by Rufino Enzadon. The ball stays in behind, and here comes Pelon Sterling, here comes David Sterling open to the left hand side. Now Porto coming from the back to seven minutes so seven minutes plus 30 seconds each of them in this one and we're going to be speaking about some new rules regarding also penalty force safety penalties corner 60s so Poroto from 40 yards a penalty three Poroto Cambiaso hitting and scoring to open the score in this final to make it one nil for La Dolfina in the beginning of the the, the umpire asking the players to line up properly. There were some uh, players lining on the opposite side. And now Juan Martin Nero on the near side. I mean, penalties for corner safety penalties. The first defender of the opponent must be at least 40 yards away. Not 30, but 40 yards away. And here comes Francisco Elizalde to take it. Francisco Elizalde hitting, deflected in the way. By, I think it was Pelon, and now Rufino Benzadon bringing the ball back in. And Adolfo with the pickup. Here comes Adolfo Cambiaso, challenge there by Guillermo Cassette. La Dolfina on the lead in this game, following the goal by Porto Cambiaso from 40 yards. Now again, Nero. Adolfo now, ready to pick it up. The markings by Hilario Joa. Here comes Adolfo. Watch his uh, next challenge. He will be playing with La Dolfina abroad in the high goal. Pelon, back to Poroto. Here comes Adolfo Cambiaso Jr., actually, grandson. Adolfo, Poroto. Poroto Cambiaso, leading it for La Dolfina. The approach there towards the left hand side, looking for Juan Martin Nero, who's going to get there first. Here comes Juanma. The marking there by Hilario uh, Joa, Steve Juanma. Nice dribble out there by Juan Martin Nero. Starting to take a look at the post, the under the neck approach by Juan Martin Nero to extend the lead. And Juan must force to make it 2 0 in the beginning of the game for La Dolfina. Some claims there by Guillermo Cassette. Some doubts over there. The approach by Poroto. It looked as if the ball went in. And the goal has been awarded. So Poroto extends the lead for La Dolfina. That the flagman was standing properly. And so please respect the goal. Those were the call, callings by the umpires. Here comes Adolfo Cambiaso. Hitting at goal from a wide angle. Looking to extend the lead for La Dolfina. The ball ended up going wide. Juegue. So again from 40 yards, here comes Poroto to extend the lead for La Dolfina. These teams will be playing against each other again in Palermo. 
Por otro cambio hace ojo, hitting from 40 yards, adding one more for lado, el fino to extend the lead. But you never know with these guys. Por otro, winning the ball in the lineup for lado, el fino. What a start by the men in blue. Chase by Guillermo Cassette, still por otro, leading the way. Por lado, el fino. The ball goes a little bit over towards the left hand side. He comes, pelón, nice hooking there in the way. And now coming to pick it up was Hilario. No, Fran Elizalde. Francisco Elizalde, here he comes, challenge there by Adolfo. Fran Elizalde playing the final for a second year in a row. Hilario, back to his brother-in-law, the marking by Poroto. Nice marking and now Adolfo trying to bring the ball back in play, Hilario. And here he comes, Hilario Joa, hitting from the back for Lachen. A nice pass looking for Guillermo Cassette and here comes Sapo Cassette, an important opportunity for Lache. They are losing by four. Here he comes, still Sapo. And now Hilario, nice pick up by Hilario. A good ride of there by Guillermo Cassette on Adolfo Candiazo. And here he comes. And the wish. 44 seconds. It's going to be from the spot in favor of Blue. Well, I didn't get to listen what the, the umpire said. Unless they said that Hilario must play the ball and he didn't do it, I didn't get to see. And now, Nero, Juan Martín, challenge there, stopped in the way by Rufino Benzón. Still, Juanma has another approach, and here he comes. Juan Martín, the tapping there by Nero, now on the near side, still leading the attack for La Dolfina. It's going to be covered now by Francisco Elizalde. Nice back shot there on the near side by Elizalde taking the danger away. And now Sapo. Here comes Guillermo Cassette leading the attack. He still needs him. Here he comes. The marking by Adolfo. Coming from behind. Pelón. Nice marking by Adolfina. What a way to defend. We were listening to the words by Mil also in the preview of this game. And they were really confident. So here comes Poroto to extend the lead for La Dolfina. What a chance for the Cañuelas base for some. So here he comes to take it. From 60 yards, a penalty for Poroto Cambiaso towards the left hand side and then Pelón bringing the ball back in and here comes Adolfo to score for La Dolfina. Great saving there by Hilario Soa. And here lies a good opportunity for Lache. Let's see if uh, Lache is able to capitalize this uh, missing by Poroto. Here comes Poroto on Don Arco Leonor. Nice approach looking for Pelon Stalling. Also followed up by Elizalde. 4 nil to La Dolfina. In the beginning of this final, eight tackles will be played. So a long, a long ahead. The approach by Hilario Joa looking for Rufino Benzadon. Also Sapo Cacer reaching out for it. Juan Manero getting there first. Taking a back shot. An amazing one. And now Pelon Sterling. Pelon on the near side. Again back looking for Adolfo. The pick up by Sapo. Nice kick in the Argentine Open. And now Fran Elizalde. Ready to resume the play with this uh, penalty from the spot. Fran Elizalde, the ball passing by, and now Guillermo Cassette stopping it. Hilario. Hilario Shoa trying to make a break out of there. Fran Elizalde, a good marking by Pelon Sterling. Fran bringing the ball back in, and now Juan Martin Nero losing the cigar, and now Hilario, good opportunity now for Lache coming from behind was Guillermo Cassette, now Francisco Elizalde looking to score, the ball passing by, passing by, passing by, Pelon Sterling with an amazing saving in the very line, now Rufino Benzadon and Adolfo, Cambiaso coming from behind, picking it up for Adolfina, 
Here he comes. Adolfo with a long approach looking for Pelon Sterling. Also spinning up to pick it up was Francisco Elizalde. The ball stays in behind and now Hilario. Here he comes. Hilario Joa. Hilario. Now Poroto. The budget there on the near side. Now Rufino Benzadon picking it up for Lache. Still Rufino. Son of uh, Francisco Benzadon. The approach from a long range by Rufino Benzadon. Feeling confident enough to take it all the way. Adolfo with the end of the next shot, trying to link with his son. Here comes Poroto, head to head against Francisco Lizalde. He has fresh legs enough to win this race and now linking with Juan Martín Nero. Nice pick up by Juan Martín Nero. The end of the next shot on the near side by Juan Martín Nero to score and extend the lead in favor of La Delfina to make it 5-0 in the beginning of this final. A great combination, a great bonding between Adolfo Poroto and Juan Martín Nero. And Juan Martín finishing the play in the best possible way for La Dolfina. There we go with Juanma. And the final tapping to score. I think he, he was on Dolfina Arlington. But at... Fran, a former player from La Dolfina. He played for the Blue Jersey team two years ago. Adolfo. Ah, Adolfo Cambiaso, taking it all the way for La Dolfina. A good anticipation there. Now Hilario, the marking by Pelon Sterling. Now coming from behind also Francisco Erizalde. Challenge there by Adolfo Cambiaso on the near side. A good touch there to move with Pelon. Sapo Cacet getting there first. And now Nero clearing the way. A great performance by Juan Martín in the beginning of this game. Pelon. Now Nero. Nice to be loved by Juan Martín, who is on fire today in this beginning of the game. The ball passing by, passing by, stopped in the way by Guillermo Cassett. Here comes Sapo. Deflected in the way, and a good stopping by Pelón. Here comes David Sterling with the back shot, looking for Adolfo, who was coming from behind. Here comes Adolfo, trying to make the final tapping, but the ball ended up going over the back line. And Lache will be with and now the pick up by Adolfo, here comes Adolfo Cambiaso, hitting at goal to add one more, and La Dolfina extends the lead here in Hurlingham. Following on the near side, giving some continuity there to link with Guillermo Cassette, here comes Sapo. Guillermo Cassette trying to set an attacking opportunity out of there. Pelon and coming from behind, it's going to be Ilari Joa to score, and La Dolfina scores for the first time today, for the first time ever in the Triple Crown Final. And he was through his number two, Hilario Ulloa, here again, Sapo. What a way to defend. La Dolfina is making an amazing job in defense today. A uh, good hooking there by Rufino. And then Hilario with a clear goal ahead. A whistle in the ball to take it, to extend the lead. To make it 7-1, what a stop by the Canola's base for base for some left for he made a warm-up also in Santa Barbara. And here comes Pelon Stalin for Hilari Joa who was coming from behind and Juanma again taking the back shots in an amazing way. I think he he hasn't missed a single one today. The approach there, a good ride up there by Guillermo Cassetta on Poroto Cambiaso to leave uh, Rufino Benza no more time and space, but he took it by his own. Here comes Sapo. Guillermo Cassett changing the line a little bit, the marking by Adolfo. And now again Rufino. Looking for Hilario. The end of the next shot by Francisco Lizal. Looking for Rufino. Here comes Rufino Benzadon. Nice pick up there by. Benzadon trying to make a break or out of there. A great saving by Poroto Cambiaso. Now Juanma bringing the ball back in, deflected in the way. 60, the way you want to call it. According to the country you are in. Here comes Fran to score it. To take it for Lache. Francisco Elizalde, the ball going a little bit wide towards the left hand side. Also Hilario trying to get. And now we're very close to the 60-yard mark, you know. Of course, we remember everybody that the first defender must be at least 40 yards away. 
from the penalty taker. 40, not 30, 40 yards away. Francisco Elizalde, the ball goes a little bit open towards the run, trying to make a breakaway out of there. Now Fran Elizalde, Francisco Elizalde, the ball was deflected in the way by Poroto. Now Hilario, how long does it take for them to score a great defense again by La Dolfina? And now back to Juan Manero towards the board. What a way to defend. And now Nero. Hilario to Guillermo Cassette, the approach at goal by Guillermo Cassette, the ball passing by, passing by, passing by, Juan Manero couldn't take it, and the saving at the very end by Poroto Cambiaso, then also was Hilario Shoa coming from behind, deflected in the way, the ball goes wide, and the whistle, Juan Manero in the floor, hopefully doesn't get worse. And Juan Martín Nero. Resumes a good pressure there. A good anticipation by Rufino Benzadon. The ball goes a little bit open towards the right hand side. And Juan now with the open back shot. The people from La Hache claiming there was a foul. And now the guy goes towards the other end with Poroto Cambiaso. Here he comes, Poroto. Another approach chased by Sapo Cassette. And this good finish in the best possible way for La Dolfina. The ball stays a little bit in behind. And a good follow up there by Guillermo Cassette. Who picks it up for La Hache. Sapo. Looking for Francisco Lizalde, here comes Fran, giving some continuity there, looking for Rufino Benzado, who was being driven off by Juan Martín Nero, now Adolfo, moving the ball back in, now Pelón, Pelón giving some continuity, looking for Poroto, Cambiaso, the marking by Sapo, the back shot there, hit in the way by Fran, Francisco Lizalde, no, Hilario, sorry. Sapo. Sapo Cassette leading the way for La H, the ball stays in behind, coming to pick it up was Poroto Cambiaso, still Sapo. Another approach there to link with Francisco Elizalde, Fran Elizalde with the approach looking for Rufino Benzadon who was trying to ride Adolfo Cambiaso off the play and a great saving in the back by Pelon Sterling. I insist, the way La Adolfina is defending is amazing. They are not making mistakes. In the back. Rufino, Rufino Benzadon changing the line here, shooting with Hilario Shaw, with Fran Elizalde actually, and now Pelon Sterling. Another approach, now Fran coming from behind, claiming there was a foul, was Pelon Sterling. Another approach by Adolfo, and now it's going to be Rufino, the runner up for the Gold Cup this year in England, playing for Dubai. The ball stays a little bit uncomfortable, here comes Hilario. One minute and 20 seconds left in this checker. Hilario again. They are running. All the players are running out of horses in this checker. Poroto Cambiaso hitting and scoring one more time. Or, if, or was it? No, Adolfo actually. They are so. <laughs> so Poroto from 60 yards with the opportunity of uh, adding one more before the end of the checker. Poroto Cambiaso, an amazing shot by La Dolfina's number three, two out, one more, and now La Dolfina is leading nine goals to one. Following this penalty four scored by Poroto. The end of the neck approach, chased and followed up by Pelon Sterling. The ball goes. So nine goals to one in favor of the Blue Jersey team into Chaka number four. Resuming the play there, Juan Martin Nero. Well, there was a claiming there by, by one of the players from La H. I wonder if they, there was a blocking or so. Yeah, because look, they are placing the ball in the 60 yard mark for so for sure there was a blocking I didn't get to see it actually I guess 
This is what they ended up calling because a blocking is out. Francisco Elizalde deflected in the way the ball ended up going. Fran Elizalde plays in the ball there for the safety. Here comes Francisco Elizalde to close the gap, hitting it straight, and the ball again goes wide towards the right hand side and level. Sapo Cassette here trying to pick it up again. Juan Manero with a great back shot there in defense. The pressure will be, and we'll continue with it. Sapo Cassette from the spot taking it and scoring it to close the gap. Nine goals to two now. So let's see the way that Lache will capitalize this. Yeah, um, I received uh, messages from friends, colleagues like Toby who is always uh, following us from Wellington. I know that you receive a lot from England on a very special year also for uh, everything that has to do with English pool on this club. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, Alfredo Harrio he is here for the celebration, as, as you saw. And of course, he was remembering when he plays against uh, Prince Philip in 1966. Juan Manero. There with the open back shot when he was uh, being challenged there by Sapo. Now again, Adolfo playing it for Adolfina during the field was Hilario. The open back shot and the boy stays in there. Fran Elizalde linking again with his brother in law. Here comes Hilario from the near side to the offside, taking his time. Challenged there by Adolfo. This is what he was saying in between the chakras. No, Adolfo saying that he was going to take Hilario. Let's see the way it continues. Hilario again. Ulloa. Hilario Ulloa from uh, long range hitting at goal, the ball passing by and it ended up going wide towards the right hand side and La Dolfina will be Yes, the uh, reality is that we were lucky also with the weather so the field is, is in peck uh, It looks as if uh, La H is now getting more contact with the ball no? Uh, let's see if they can be more effective now Rufino Benson with the approach, trying to link with Guillermo Cassette. Here comes Sapo to score back to back for Lache, and Sapo Cassette scores to close the gap again, and now it's nine goals to three. Uh, we'll see how effective they can be. Pelon with and so far doing a fantastic job, no? Francisco Elizalde from 60 yards, the ball going a little bit wide towards the right hand side and La Dolfina will be receiving from the back, yeah, Pepe actually from, you know, No, no doubt, I think it's a huge advantage for everybody. Now Guillermo Cassette with the pickup over the center of the field, here he comes, a long approach, trying to score from this one, when we listen to the first bell, the open shot by Guillermo Cassette, sending the ball in. To score at the very end of checker number four to close the first half in the best possible way for Lache to close the back to close the gap again in the saddle Gaston Lucero and Guillermo Villanueva and here comes Belon Sterling La Dolfina leading by six leading linking with Juan Martin Nero Juanma with the pick up on the near side with the back shot now looking for the post but the ball ended up going quickly. Going for it, Juan Martin Nero. Here he comes, Juan, uh, who's been playing for Blackbirds in England early this year. You know, Andres, another approach. Yes, with, okay. No, with the condition of the field, I, I don't know why the the, the, the players from the Lache they are taking the are carrying the ball too much. I think they have to, you know, try to score from a, from a distance. This is a big mistake that they are making. Now for the Poroto hitting a goal from a wide angle and the ball goes over the back. Position with the shots in Lache, see? It's, yeah. I don't know, it's like they are two, I would say, they are two in a hurry. Uh, and this... Frank. Francisco Lizalde, marking by Poroto, who, of course, without problems yes. on the penalties, well, it tells a difference at least. Absolutely, absolutely. Juanma, leaving it back for Adolfo. Here he comes, Adolfo Cambiaso. Maybe the last time we're going to see them playing together, at least in the Super Crown with Pepe. Yes, this is what they were, Adolfo was mentioning. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I think it's going to depend on the results. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be not issue. Sapo, nice intervention again by Adolfo, who has already turned, and here he comes, taking his time. When we listen to the first bell, Adolfo Cambiaso now. 
Leading the way for La Delfina. Nice marking by Guillermo Caseta. And here comes Sapo. Open towards the right hand side. Leading the attack for La Che, the last play of check number five. They, they. The ball stays a little bit in behind. And now Poroto again. The end of the next shot by Poroto. Well anticipated and read by Sapo Cassett. Only three seconds left. Hilario Jo. No, Francisco Elizalde hitting at goal, but I think that the whistle went before and this will end check number five. recordings uh, about what he did in Palermo sí. but thinking that today 31 years uh, 31 years later yes. he is not only playing but also staying competitive in such a way well no no uh, you know that Eduardo also like Cambiaso today they have the record of 31 years playing consecutive wow sí. in 130 years of the tournament they have 23% of the history. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. And here the game is on. Check number six on the way. Guillermo Cassett now with the back shot. Looking for Francisco Elizalde. Here comes Fran. A good marking by Poroto. The ball stays in behind. And then Adolfo gives some continuity and links with Juan Martin. Here comes Nero. Challenged by Hilario. Another approach by Juan Martin. Winning this raid on race on the outside the ball stays a little bit in behind and here comes Poroto Poroto Cambiaso taking his time here we are with the top scorer today Poroto Cambiaso with the approach looking a little bit open towards the right hand side and there first is going to be Adolfo challenged by Isapo the marking by Guillermo Cassetta and now Nero Elizalde or even for Rufino Benzadon a good stop in there by Pelon Sterling nice turning and now coming from behind Poroto from the near side to the offside, nice turning by Poroto Cambiaso trying to hit a goal from a long range and a good defense at the end by Francisco Elizalde, now Adolfo too much time they have, you know, this, not like last uh, weekend that they were really on top of the mark they are, Lache, they are watching too much the ball you know. they're not playing as a team see too much tapping, you know, against these guys yeah, and they, and they are playing so simple. Let's see how it goes. For Rufino Benzadon. This penalty fall from 60 yards, deflected in the way. The ball passing by, passing by, and ended up going in. It counts the same. It was with a little bit of suspense, but it counts the same, and Rufino scores to close the gap. The, 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 third, the third one was the, the correct one. Now they, they change yes. it. They will have to start, you know. Yeah, and plus, Pepe, an eight-jacket contest is a long one, you know. It's and very long. It's very, very long. Now Rufino. He was chasing behind, and now Guillermo Cassette leading it for Lache. Here he comes. The approach by Sapo from a long distance. The ball flying on, but it ended up going wide towards the left-hand side, and La Dolfina will be resuming from the back. Last uh, was it Saturday? No, Sunday. Last Saturday uh, he was not missing those those shots. Sabo, no? he was really scoring from from long distances. I think this is the the difference today. Definitely, La Dolfina has been much more accurate. Definitely, yeah. Nero, linking with Pelon. Here comes David Sterling leading the way now for La Dolfina. The approach there, looking for Poroto Cambiaso, who was coming from a different angle, and here he comes entering the play in an amazing way to take it all the way into the danger zone, and here comes Poroto Cambiaso, scoring for La Dolfina from end to end, celebrating it to extend the lead, 14 goals to 7. Yeah, that, that celebration has to do with the comment that his father was making him uh, a couple of minutes ago, you know. Uh, continue, we need to be focused, uh, and try to close the game this checker or the next one and, and be much more relaxed by the end of the game Hilario here comes Hilario Ulloa coming from behind Cambiaso oh, yeah, with the final tapping scoring to make it 15 goals to 7 in favor of La Dolfina Andres I think that goal is a, is a, is a resume of what the game has been uh, La Dolfina is much more simple 
uh, Lazio, I think they don't realize against whom they are, they are playing. <laughs> you know, uh, those kind of taps <laughs> with these kind of teams, they. Pelon Sterling, another approach now on the near side, and now Guillermo Cassette with a good opportunity for Lazio. They under the next shot by Guillermo Cassette to score and to give some hope to Lazio following the previous goal by Adolfo Cambiaso. And he closes the gap. Now it's 14 goals to 8 in the ball. They are hitting it so clearly. And of course, it's easy when you <laughs> watch it, see it here, of course. But they are, uh, they are doing it so. Of course, when he plays abroad, of, um, for instance, this year for, for Pa plays in Spain, in the US, he, he used to take penalties. Not, it's not that usual to see him. No. Taking penalties in Argentina, but let's see how it goes for him today. But you know the the big thing, Andres, is the wooden ball. It's not the same to hit a wooden ball than a plastic ball. <laughs> uh, Stopped in the way, deflected by Juanma. Yes, Pepe. <laughs> this is this is a key. You know, sometimes you say why why the guy is hitting the ball so well abroad and the ball flies because it's a plastic one. You know, to hit, I, I, I definitely invite uh, players from abroad to come to Argentina and play with a wooden ball. <laughs> you can't really see the difference. And hear the difference. No, no, it's a total different <laughs> noise. No, no, no. And now Sapo Cassette with the chance, with the open shot there, and Sapo Cassette finishing it for La H. Pensadon challenge there by Polo. You know that, uh, Andres, if uh, things more or less happen as we think in terms of results this is going to be the semi-final of the Open, of the RG Open so I think also they're going to take some really good information for Lache that's why they, they need to be calm and say okay, if today is not our day, why not at least we take information for, for the semis yeah definitely, they are both inside League A in the Argentine Open as Pepe here was saying Fino trying to win it over, and now Adol for clearing the play. Well read there by Poroto Cambiaso, who's going to get there first, and the challenge by Sapo Cassette, who read it properly. And now the back shot, many is that again? With Francisco, no, with Rufino and Sadone, now Hilario. Hilario Chihuahua, coming from behind was Rufino. Good action there by Rufino and Sadone, coming from behind was Juan Martín Nero. And now entering the play also Hilario Chihuahua, now Guillermo Cassette. The marking by Pelon Sterling on the near side Rufino and now Poroto clearing the play, taking the danger away. Hilario with the under the next shot stopped and blocked in the way and now Francisco Elizalde with a good opportunity. The under the next shot by Francisco Elizalde, the goal for La H to close the gap. With still some time rena remaining in this chaka number seven here again from a different angle. Francisco Elizalde, the under the neck. Shots and the goal for Lache. His first one today, actually. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I think this is a little bit more what we were expecting in, in terms of numbers. Uh, we'll see. 16 goals to 11, 30 seconds remaining until the first bell. Sapo on the near side, linking good with Hilario. Ah. The ball stays in behind, and now Adolfo is going to hit it from there, eh? This is a receipt. his time. Say, of course. Post this game. <laughs> Pelon Sterling coming from behind. A good rebound in favor of him. And uh, under the neck, shot by Pelon Sterling. The ball passing by, passing by, followed by Rufino Benzadon, who picked it up before he left the field. And now again on the near side. Already playing on into it. Pelon Sterling coming from behind. Kind of a decider penalty. Uh, yes, I think. Uh -huh. For Otto Cambiaso, well, you one see? more life. For La H, the he's, ball going wide. He's human. He, he, he's human. Just to complete the previous information, Pepe, yes. uh, Eduardo Egui was also part of that game. Horacito and. Horacito and uh, a, a, you know, a military player, a captain, Mariano Cabanillas, was playing with, uh, with uh, Prince Charles. And uh, the Hellingham team was uh, Santiago Araya, Pepe Araya, Mariano Zimmerman, and myself. Nice experience. Very nice. Sapo Cassette coming from behind. Nice pick up by the guy from Lobos. The marking by Porto Cambiasso. Here comes Sapo to kill a goal. The ball stays in behind. And now Hilario 
on the walls to the center. Challenge there by Juan Martinero. Another approach, and again, Pelon Sterling giving some assistance. They're in the back. Francisco Elizalde trying to kill that goal, and then Juan Martina good blocking by 30. Again, Hilario taking it. From the spot. Hilario sending the ball in to close the gap. 16 goes to 12. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. Four goal difference. It is big, but it's not impossible to reach. So, of course, you're playing against Adolfina, but let's see how Lache reacts to this. I think this, this throwing is going to be very, very important. So, back to the center to resume the play. Hilario with the back shot, a great one to assist Guillermo Cassette. And here comes Sapo, the ball stays in behind. And very quickly, who was on top of that ball? Pelon Sterling, and now Fran Elizalde. The pick up by Francisco Elizal, the great angle by Fran. Nice breakaway, stopped by Juan Martinero, the ball passing by, passing by. It ended up going over the back line, and La Dolfina will be resuming from the back. You see, Andres, uh, 95 times of, of, of those hundreds, Sapo would have scored that goal. Uh, yeah. But I think it's, it's a resume of, of the game, no? One more. From the back, linking with Adolfo. Adolfo definitely staying, standing more in the back during the second half. And now, Ben Sadon, a good marking by Cambiaso coming from behind. Was Hilario show a nice angle by Hilario taking it all the way for his team, trying to enter the danger zone. And now on the near side, deflected in the way by Nero, bringing the ball back in. And here comes Guillermo Cassette to pick it up, trying to hit a goal entering the play. Was really smart. Okay, here it goes. So Hilario from the spot again. Sending the ball in, closing the gap, and now they are three goals behind in the score. How much time we have, Andres? Four minutes Four and minutes. 20 seconds remaining. Okay, if I told you that, uh, you know... Last, uh, Remember throw, what throw. happened in 2016 <laughs> when La Dolfina was leading by three over El Artina. Sí, sí, sí. I mean, anything can happen. Of anything. course, the, the, the lead by La Dolfina is good, but okay. this is very important. This also, Pepe, you were speaking about before the throwings, right? Sí, 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 sí. Okay, here we go. Look at the pick up by Poroto Cambiaso to cut Laches momentum and Poroto okay. Cambiaso scoring to celebrate it with his people here very close to our position to add one more and to take a four goal lead. See, I think it's game over. Nine goals today scored by Poroto. He won't reach Camilo Castagnola who will finish as the top scorer of the Hellingham Open with a total of 28 goals but he reached a total of 22. Not bad. Incredible. Fran Elizalde, Rufino coming from behind and very quickly Adolfo. Adolfo Cambiaso, the hooking by Rufino Benzadon and now Hilario trying to change the angle here. Poroto again with the back shot. Uh, really, I think. Thank you very, very much again. No, my pleasure, Pepe. As usual, as I always say, as we speak during the year, uh, we have the chance to have watched so many good games here in Hurlingham. And thank you for joining us today. Congratulations to La Dolphina Saudi, the winner of the 2023 Hurlingham Open. The final score was 18 to 13. In the heart of Argentina, where the horses race, La Dolphina rides with style and grace. Like the wind, they charge with might. A team of champions, a glorious sight. Polo's their game on fields so vast, their skills are unsurpassed. With mallets swinging, they take the field, their determination an unbreakable shield. Like the autumn wind, they never yield. In pursuit of victory, they'll never be stilled. Four riders strong, a fearless crew, La Dolphina's legacy forever true. Through the green fields, they swiftly glide. In the world of polo, they're the pride. La Dolfina, a name that rings. In Canuelas, their victory sing. With passion and skill, they conquer all. In polo's arena, they stand tall. So watch them ride with hearts aflame. La Dolfina, champions of the game. 
you've been watching Kirk's Polo Report. Please subscribe, and as always, be safe.